Hello, my name is Kyle Olszewski, and I'll be discussing volumetric implicit representations for object manipulations. The overall goal of the work discussed here is to enable flexible, creative manipulation of arbitrary objects from 2D images. Because we want to control arbitrary objects, that means we don't want to rely on any object-specific priors, such as 2D or 3D human body pose estimation, or require 3D ground truth for supervision. We also want the method to be efficient enough to enable interactive editing. To motivate this work, consider recent efforts in the field of controllable novel view synthesis. Much progress has been made in synthesizing novel views of real scenes for, or for specific objects. You see examples of the latter case here. One of the key design choices for such works is how to parameterize the desired viewpoint transformation. You can learn a transformation and sample from an input image, attach a transformation parameter in the middle of an encoder-decoder framework, learn to interpolate between two input images, or use source and target poses as input to the networks as seen here. Now each of these results in reasonable results for novel view synthesis, but each of these choices fundamentally limits the application of these not networks to other um, use cases. To address this concern, we developed a framework known as Transformable Bottleneck Networks, or TBNs. So this is some work from ICCV 2019. You can see some examples of the applications of this approach here. Given the source input images on the left, we extract an implicit volumetric representation of the image content from which we can perform a variety of tasks, including not just novel view synthesis, but 3D reconstruction, or as you see on the bottom, non-rigid transformations to stretching an object, or even combining the content of multiple object representations. So in essence, a TBN framework, or a transformable bottleneck network, or TBN, is an encoder-decoder framework with an implicit volumetric representation of the image content as its middle layer. You can see an example of this here. Now given a different source and target image, a question that arises is how do you specify the viewpoint transformation between the source and target view? We address this by introducing another layer to the network. This is a spatial resampling layer that samples feature vectors from the volumetric bottleneck extracted by the encoder. The rigid transformation corresponding to the relative pose between the source and target views provides the correspondences between the encoded feature volume and the transformed volume passed to the decoder. As only rigid transformations are applied during training, the encoder learns to extract and project image content from the input image, while the decoder learns to hallucinate missing content reproject and synthesize the final image. Using this approach, it's actually relatively straightforward to aggregate multiple input views when they're available to improve on the synth synthesis quality. To do this, we simply use the resampling layer to transform every input view into the target pose and compute the per cell average of the feature vectors from each input view before passing it to the decoder. Here we present a variety of novel view synthesis results on different object categories. You can see this approach works well for a variety of objects including chairs, cars, and people. Once we've aggregated the input views from the input images, we simply compute novel views by applying the corresponding rigid transformation to the target viewpoint. You can see this works well for objects with complex and varying shapes such as chairs, complex textures and materials such as the cars with uh, metal and glass, and non-rigid objects such as people. Another interesting aspect of our approach is it allows for a straightforward extension that also allows us to perform volumetric reconstruction. We do this by incorporating a second decoder branch called the occupancy decoder, which computes uh, an occupancy volume with a per cell probability of occupancy, seen in pink here, which is then passed to the segmentation decoder to produce the segmentation mask on the far left. Thus, using only 2D segmentation supervision, we can actually compute a volumetric reconstruction with a per cell occupancy probability for each point in the input image.
You can see some sample results from this here, using three images of each of the chairs depicted here. Given the estimated relative poses between these real chair images, we combine the representations and produce the meshes seen on the bottom. These meshes are of sufficiently high quality to allow for 3D printing, as seen in the videos on the center. The most interesting aspect of our approach, though, is that it allows for creative image manipulation beyond novel view synthesis and 3D reconstruction. To enable this, consider the training process. As noted before, we simply use rigid viewpoint transformations during training on a multi-view data set. However, because of the flexible way that we parameterize this transformation, during inference we can replace this rigid viewpoint transformation with an arbitrary spatial transformation. This spatial transformation can include post transformations as well, well as any other non-rigid manipulation of the input image content. We can even take encoded bottlenecks from different input images and combine their content to combine the content of multiple images. Here you see several creative manipulation results for chairs. Given the swivel chair is seen on the left, we can rotate the top and bottom of the volume in different directions to produce the swiveling effect seen here. We can also apply stretching along the vertical axis, as seen on the right, or nonlinear inflation and deflation of the, of the image content, as seen on the bottom. Once these manipulations are performed on the encoded volumes, we can also synthesize novel views by simply applying a rigid transformation to the transformed volume. Here we see another interesting application called horizontal flipping. Here we take either the front or back half of the depicted cars and reflect the content across the horizontal axis, producing a car that is either all the front of the car or all the back. Interestingly, this works reasonably well and enables novel view synthesis, despite the fact that these images are very far from those used during training. Here we see another non-rigid manipulation. Here we stretch the cars, either along their width or length, to produce the images depicted here. Once again, we can also apply a novel view synthesis to the results. Again, note how the results here often go far outside the domain of the training images, yet still produce reasonable results corresponding to the depicted transformations. We also show vertical merging of human subjects. Here, given the input images, we extract a single volume corresponding to each subject. Then we combine the top half of one subject's volume with the bottom half of another, and then rotate the result to produce consistent results with the torso of one subject and the legs of another. Note how this produces consistent results for each target viewpoint. Finally, we demonstrate a real-world application in which our approach can be used to pre-visualize interior design layouts using real-world images of furniture. Using a single bottleneck obtained from only two images of a chair as seen at the bottom and their estimated relative poses, we can rigidly transform the bottleneck to synthesize new views of the chair and composite them into a real-world environment. We can simultaneously apply non-rigid transformations of the chair to adjust its overall structure, thereby transforming an office chair such as this one into other types of chairs, such as a bar stool. Note that for this application and the 3D reconstruction examples, Though our method is trained using only synthetic renderings, we still obtain reasonable results for these tasks using photos of complex chairs taken from the real world. In conclusion, the TBN is a volumetric framework for novel view synthesis that enables extracting the 3D shape and appearance of objects from images. As it uses a generic implicit volumetric bottleneck, no object-specific template or prior is needed. Finally, the implicit volume can be spatially manipulated to enable arbitrary creative edits of the image content while maintaining real-time performance during inference. Thanks for watching.